Hello everyone, my name is Abrar and you're watching Technology. In this video, I have Sony Xperia Z5 with me and uh, as you know that Z5 have got Nougat update. So it's over here, the Nougat update, the 1.2 GB Nougat Android 7.0 update. So actually I haven't downloaded it, the update because I wanted to show you what all the changes do we get from Marshmallow to nougat update so uh, before updating my device to nougat i just quickly want to show you what all the things we had with marshmallow and the things which we will be getting in the marsh uh, sorry nougat update so without further delaying let's get started So starting with the lock screen itself, uh, as you can see to unlock the device, we need to put finger on the fingerprint scanner or you can just swipe it up and draw your pattern. But uh, I will just put my finger at the fingerprint reader and it simply unlocks. The unlocking speed is not that great and uh, the notification panel looks like this in the marshmallow. And uh, here we have this uh, download notification which is not removable and uh, SMS and SMS notification looks like this. It can be removed by swiping it either either on both the sides. And here you can just simply tap on the mark as red, but you cannot reply from here. And if you swipe it down, you see these are the quick settings. And one thing I forgot to mention, if you swipe it down, you won't get any quick settings over here. So do note th these things you will be getting in the marshmallow, uh, I mean in the nougat update. And uh, these are the quick toggles over here, quick toggles. And if you go to this edit option and suppose if I want to add NFC, you cannot add as it says maximum number of quick settings have been selected. So you cannot add more and uh, these are the this is the battery icon if you tap here you can directly go to battery settings and here are the settings toggle here is the user toggle let's go to setting and this is how the setting looks in the marshmallow just go to about the device and see i i have this model e6683 that is xperia z5 dual and the Android version is 6.0.1 as of now. So this is how it looks. Uh, and icons are, these are the icons in Marshmallow. This is the home screen. If you pinch, if you zoom out, it will, you will be seeing this kind of settings like widgets, wallpapers, themes. And in settings, you get this double tap to sleep, etc, etc. And you can even change the home screen icons, size and transition also you can change from here. Let me quickly show you the apps. This is how the dialer looks in Marshmallow. This is how contacts look, contact looks in and this is how the messaging app looks, camera, if you swipe it down, it won't, it won't switch to front camera, do note this thing and uh, this is how the album app looks. This is how the music app looks. This is how the video app looks. Weather. Calculator. Calendar. Clock. And In home screen, if you swipe it down, you get this search bar over here. And one thing to note is that if you go to this app drawer, automatically you uh, this header area will get disappeared. 
like uh, as if you are switching something into full screen mode uh, that's how it uh, disappears and there is no option to hide this search bar and get back this header so that's it for marshmallow now let's update it to the latest version let me download it it's okay let, let me just switch on this wi-fi so i have switched on my wi-fi and here in notification if you tap once it will enable or disable do note this thing also and uh, i have got some messages on whatsapp and here reply option is available for only a particular group do note this thing also let me go ahead with the download okay so it's downloading so once it gets downloaded i will be back i forgot to mention few things like uh, the camera launch time via this button is kind of slow in this marshmallow hope it gets fixed in the nougat uh, let me just tap in three two one go this is how it it almost take three seconds or four seconds to launch this camera via this button and uh, if we just tap this it's in instant but uh, launching it via this button is little bit slow and uh, i forgot to show how the this multitasking drawer looks like in the marshmallow this is how it looks and there is the clear all button here we get small apps and uh, and this uh, xperia z5 supports the geo vo lte also uh, in uh, marshmallow as well as in nougat update so it's a good news for the indian users who use geo sim and the download process is completed so let me just go ahead and install this update before installing i want to show how much battery i have and what's the time it's 10 21 pm and the battery we have is six exactly 66 percent so let's see in how much uh, time it will take to update and uh, how much battery does it consume for updating this device let's go ahead three two one go install now so it's powering off and i will be back uh, once it's done the update process is finally completed and uh, it's it uh, updated the nfc firmware also uh, now the time is 11 so it uh, actually took 40 minutes for this update and the battery is 50 we had 66 percent battery before uh, starting this process so it will take 16 percent battery it will consume 16 percent battery and 40 minutes of time so uh, this is the lock screen and uh, i uh, i find the wallpaper is changed in this lock screen so let's just quickly unlock this device it's asking for pattern uh, as this is the first time we are unlocking the device so we need to draw up the pattern so i have drawn the pattern and it says the device will restart for optimizing the service provider that is for enabling vo lte so hit okay so i will be back after it gets booted up as you can see here the icons have been changed it's more rounded kind of now and uh, regarding notification panel if you swipe it down here you get quick access to quick toggles uh, here you get five toggles if you again swipe it down you will get more toggles and uh, if you swipe this side you get uh, more and you can add this more toggles by edit options 
uh, for example if i want to add this uh, uh, what do you call this uh, nfc so i'm adding it over here so nfc can be accessed by swiping this side and this is a setting this is a user and regarding notifications uh, you can reply to any group or any person directly from here itself for example if i got uh, 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 for example i have got messages from this three persons or groups i can directly reply to this person from here like uh, i'm typing hello I, my message will be sent to this group and uh, i got message from this group also let me just show you by expanding and I have got message from this group so I can directly reply from here without opening the app in the previous version of Android that is marshmallow we cannot reply to uh, individual person or group we have to open the application to reply so this is the one of the best feature of nougat this one is and uh, as you can see the performance is quite awesome it's fast fluidic no lag nothing swiping it left will give you the suggestion but uh, the, the new thing here is it gives you suggestion from play store if you are connected to internet uh, it gives suggestion for this applications for you, based on your personal interest and now let's look at some of the default applications like dialer contacts etc this is how the new dialer looks this is the dial pad this is the favorites this is the contacts this is the voicemail this is the contact application this is the messaging application and the camera the, the the camera launch speed is somewhat improved i must say it's somewhat improved from the previous version let's look at if we if there is any improvement via this button yeah it's opening pretty much faster than the previous version and another thing is that if you swipe it like this it will switch to another camera i mean the primary or the secondary camera it will switch from one of the best feature of nougat is that we have this multitask that is uh, i mean not multitasking it is multi window uh, like we have seen in the samsung galaxy devices this multi window feature here i have this dialer and here i have this contacts and uh, i can run both dialer as well as uh, messaging from here this is a multi window if you don't want if you don't want multi window then directly swipe it down you will be using only one application clear all have been moved to this top and small apps also is moved to top let's go to setting this is how the setting looks and whenever the mobile data is off it will it will highlight this thing that mobile data is off and it will show this cross mark indicating that the mobile data is off in the primary sim let's go to about the device as you can see i'm running on the latest android 7.0 let's see if we have any updates these are the application updates and regarding system update this is the latest update available Uh, and let's look at its apps album music video video app needs uh, another application to run it properly i will download it 
later this is the weather app and it's asking settings uh, i will leave it like this only this is how the weather app looks calculator fm calendar calendar looks somewhat different from the previous version and this clock clock is also changed a little bit and of course the setting i'm not facing any kind of lag or stutter like that it works perfectly fine and i'm having this geo uh, vlt also let's make a call as you can see the call gets connected easily it supports vlt aapke dwara dial kiya gaya service code amanya hai so there is no issues in network and calling everything is pretty much good and regarding battery life i don't know how it will perform because i have installed it just now let me show you the battery stats which i have got in my previous version that is marshmallow i have charged it at uh, 10 am in the morning and it lasted me till 10 pm so the usage was like uh, not always on mobile i have used it very less so the battery got drained mostly in the standby time this is how i got uh, 4 hour 46 minutes and when i used it continuously i got this one almost 6 hours of time i charged it around uh, something 8 8 pm i guess and it lasted me till 4 am the on screen time is 6 hours i don't know how this nugget will fare regarding the battery life so That's it for now. Hope you guys like this video. If you like this, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you have any questions or queries, do ask me in the comment section below. I will be more than happy to answer all your queries and questions. So, this is Abrar signing off. You guys have a great day. Peace.